What is going on guys, the Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive, and today we're back doing, or we're back at the shop, doing what we do, and today is a, a very exciting day, because today, we get to start on our Dodge Dakota build, and so I got some basic stuff that we're gonna do, which basically just snatching the engine transmission out, and seeing what engine we're gonna get we got the engine out on the customer car. We're we have to we have to tear that engine completely down. Uh, so it's gonna be a whole new block, some uh, internal work on it, new piston, piston rings, uh, crankshaft, crankshaft cams, and that is I think is the basic or like base of basic of what we're doing. And some little stuff here and there that I can't tell you guys what we're doing to this car yet. But she's going to be a dragster machine. This thing is going to be running quarter miles like you wouldn't believe. Uh, we picked this up for uh, $1,200. Not bad truck. Runs, drives, everything works in it. Just don't have a transmission mount, which is why it's on the ground like that. So today we're going to be snatching that out of there. So let's get to it. Five hours later. All right, so there we go. We got the basic off, so that way we can get to the engine. All we gotta do is, is we're gonna raise this up so we can get underneath the truck, cause we gotta drop the the transmission. Gotta come completely out of the truck. And now I can't even get this 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 lift to work. That's fun. If you guys are OG, you guys seen this before. You guys know how we get down when we come. Like, when I say we're going to snatch this engine out, I mean we we actually going to snatch this engine out of this truck. <laughs> so, it's already loose and wiggly, so that's perfect for me. Anyway, let me get this transmission out. I get that forklift so I can get it on the fork. And then we'll get started on that engine removal. The engine removal is fun. It's always fun to remove an engine. <laughs> Transmission is now out. I was going to use the transmission jack, but I decided, I was like, you know what? Let's just use the forklift. So if you guys want to know how I do these engine removals, you got to make sure that any vehicle is not going to go anywhere. So make sure the frame is as planted to the ground as possible. You have to remove the transmission, the dry shaft, and motor mounts. It cannot have those. And then after that, all you have to do is just grab a chain and you're ready to go. All right, once when you have your chain, you want the shortest chain that you can get. Now you're gonna get into your forklift or any of your removal tools. And you wanna go to like, don't, you wanna make sure you go to the lowest end to connect this. Cause if you don't, it's not gonna work that good. So now, we're just going to attach this to the forklift there and then make sure that this is also connected somewhere and then you raise this up like butter and get right over your engine that you're going to remove. I should have removed that fender. Oh well. Alright, next step is finding where actually the engine lifts from which is right there so you're gonna grab this little guy and just connect it i might have to go forward actually make sure you get this thing to wiggle out here i'm trying so hard not to break that windshield 20 minutes later just like that your engine is now out of the truck look at that hey so all we got to do now is we're gonna just take this and put it out somewhere and we could sell this actually so i might try to see if i can get a buyer for this engine because this is a nice engine too all right so a lot of progress 
Dakota now has no engine transmission in. And so we are not ready for the new engine whenever we decide on what engine we're actually going to get. Uh, in the meantime, since we're waiting on parts for that uh, uh, 55 over there, we're going to get started on the F-350 getting it. Because this one, it's not going to take long or much to get it fixed up. Uh, mainly because it just needs a front bumper. And these are some old tires. Like, these tires are old. And they're, like, dry rotten. So, we're gonna replace those, too. I don't need no lift for this truck. I literally can do it here. Because all I'm doing is just taking this bumper off. And replacing this headlight. And I think that's it. I think that's all we're going to need, really. Let's get started. Let's see if we can move this. Uh, I don't think it's too difficult to take this bumper off. All right, so we got that front bumper off. Got the new headlight. And I'm thinking about taking these rock slides off. More than likely, I think I'm going to take them off and... Also, I purchased an exhaust for this truck, so we're gonna see how that's gonna go, how that's gonna turn out when it get here. Uh, that's about it, really. I mean, like I say, this truck really don't need much. It might need an alignment uh, when we get done with all this, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I am going to go to the tire place and I'm gonna go put tires on, but we're gonna drive it there. So let me go and see if I can take these rock slides off, and then. Shoot, we might just drive it down there as it is, so give me a couple minutes. I'll take these off real quick. To head to the tire shop and see if they have some wheels for me. Hopefully they do. They usually keep some in stock, but sometimes they be selling out. But I got my, don't worry about the license plate situation. We are virtual reality. I have my temporary plate on, but we should be good for this school trip. So first drive in the Ford F-350. These tires are, they're old. These are some old tires, so they're not the greatest. This truck is actually a lot quicker than I thought. It transmission's really good. Shifts good. Listen to that. This thing's great. This is a good truck, though. I'm not the. I'm not too confident though with these tires. That's the reason I'm like very hesitant. She does need brakes. It will swing out. It will swing out. <laughs> That's one thing I can tell you. All right, guys, look at this. We had just got lucky. We got some new wheels and tires with the beadlock. So shop here, they hooked me up. We got uh, 17 by 9. These are race line. These are RT8. Uh, that's the name of the, uh, that's the name of the rims. And the tires that we're running are 40 by 12.5. These are 17s. Uh, these are BF Goodrich. These are the KR3s. Uh, and she has an offset of 0 0.08. And I think it looks absolutely great. Like, it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, it's, in my opinion, I think this is a much better setup than what the truck had before. So, we're going to test it out, though, and we're going to see if it drives any better. Alright, so... They hooked me up with a color-matched beat lock. Um, they kind of threw it in with the tires, so... 
I think it looks really nice. You guys ever seen an F-350 drift? <laughs> Never seen that? All right, we're gonna do an off-road test here now that we are close to the shop, just in case if anything breaks, we can quickly go to the shop. Alright, alright, alright. So I am gonna uh, I am gonna be doing a off um, a suspension upgrade on this truck. Um, I'm gonna look at one and I'm gonna see how it looks. I, it should beef up the legit off-road capabilities of it by almost 60%, I do believe. It's pretty good. I, I do say so. I mean Look at that, look at that, look at that. Now, when I put the front bump, look at it, got so much clearance. When I put the front bumper on, I'm hoping that we're far away from it, but I'm not gonna know until the front bumper is placed on the truck, so. You have to run a beat lock on this truck with these type of tires. Cause these tires are so, like they, like when you had a full lock like this and you're going, see how much that thing, that it leans into that tire. So yeah, that's a good a good investment there. I have to say so. All right, there you go. So all we're doing now is we're waiting on a front bumper and I'm thinking about doing a color match theme to the truck. Uh, I still gotta send it off to a paint specialist to get the paint uh, polish, but we're gonna color match the grill, I think. So we're gonna color match the grill and hopefully I can find the bumper, but I might do off-road bumpers, but I'm not sure. We are gonna, it's, it's gonna look good. When we get done, this thing's gonna, oh, and I didn't tell you, we actually took the muffler off the truck. <laughs> so we're running no mufflers. Don't tell California, but we're, we're not running any mufflers on that truck. <laughs> anyway, they gotta move this ZR1. Um, I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna get started on this car, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm gonna try to get tires so we can. But the car is so low, it's hard to get a jack up under it. Cause I do have jacks, but this car is low. Come on now. Come on now. But yeah, like I say, it is low. And so since it's low, it's really hard to get like a floor jack up under this car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lift to lift the car instead. As soon as I get my lift to work, it works when it wants to. We'll get to it when we get to it, I guess. These are the cars that I own. All right. So... The 930, the Porsche 930, it's uh, it's at the house. Uh, I'm thinking about putting it in storage since the car is just too dang nice. Um, the Mustang Dark Horse, that's back at the shop, like always. 
but it's being put back together to stock. So you guys ain't going to see that in a while. And then when we have that back, that'll be a third car over there. Um, the 55 Chevy, we're waiting on parts for the engine. And then we're going to put it back together and put it back in the car. And we're going to be doing putting this car also on the dyno to see how much it makes. Uh, but with the new power, with all the new parts, without nitrous turned on it should be making very close to a thousand horsepower which we are hoping uh the dakota we're waiting on an engine decision on what we're going to put in the dakota and that's pretty much it there's really nothing left to really do or talk about so i'm just we're doing our thing. We're, we're doing our thing here at Belasco City. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.